the first step to a secure remote connection in Kali Linux is by using an SSH client such as PuTTY uh, and having SSH enabled in Kali. Uh, Kali Linux does not come with SSH enabled so I'll have to show you how to go about doing that. So you can first head on over to putty.org and then you can download putty. And you can just click on putty.exe. Keep in mind that this doesn't actually uh, put a desktop icon on your desktop for you. Um, so this file here, just uh, take it and then move it to your desktop and then you can just open it from there whenever you need to use it. So we can go ahead and open it up and this is what our uh, interface looks like. But we won't get into using that right now because we have to configure SSH uh, in Kali Linux first. And keep in mind that PuTTY is to be downloaded on the computer that you are using to connect remotely to Kali. So now if you haven't already booted up Kali, um, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm using VNC Viewer so I can actually already connect to Kali Linux remotely. Um, but for more security I'm gonna install SSH. So if you have Kali up and running, uh, the first thing we can do is open up a terminal session. And then we can check and see if SSH is running. And as you can see here, SSH is right there. Now, if you don't have SSH, uh, you can go ahead and install that. By using the command apt-get install open SSH-server. And since I already have it installed, it's letting me know that I have the, the newest version. So now we can go ahead and start the SSH services by using the command service SSH start. Alright, and then we can go ahead and uh, check the status. Didn't type that in right. And it is active and running. And now we will make a few changes to our configuration file. So we will have to navigate there. And these are all the files located in the SSH folder. Now we need to edit the sshd config file. We can use nano to do that. Now one of the first things you should notice is that um, it's using port 22. Uh, that is the default port for SSH. Um, now it's always recommended to change that um, to give it a little more, <clears throat> a little more security. So you can change that to whatever port you'd like. Um, I'll just use 1986 for my port. And then to save it, just control X, Y, enter. Okay, now we need to restart SSH. And now we will create an RSA key of authentication. Now 
Now it's going to generate a uh, RSA key pair for us. Then it's going to ask you where you want to save the key. Um, you can just select the default location and enter a passphrase. If you'd like to use a passphrase, I'm just going to leave that as default. And then it's going to ask you to enter again, where it's blank. And there we go. So that pretty much does it for the server configuration part. Uh, now we can move on and attempt to connect to Kali via our PuTTY program here. Just make sure that you put the right port number in there. Uh, remember that I chose 1986 for my port. And then you want to put in your IP address. And if you don't know the IP address, um, you could find that by running the command if config in your terminal. And it looks like I have 192.168.2.10. So we can go ahead and put that in there. And then you should get uh, an alert, something like this. It says the server's host key is not cached in the registry. Um, so just go ahead and click yes. And then you should get a window that looks just like this. And then just log in as root and put your password in there. And we are currently connected. Now keep in mind that this doesn't give you a graphical user interface, uh, but if you are savvy with Linux commands, then you shouldn't have any problem uh, using this.